Greetings, friends and survivors. Shadowfrax here, and sorry there wasn't an update vid last week. I was delayed. We had a small technical issue, but it's fixed now, and I'm going to attempt to bring you back up to speed. So, what's new in Rust development this week for me and you? Me and you. You and me. Me and you. Me and you! Yes, the big news at the moment is that over the course of this month, Gary has decided to have a concerted nibble at the low swinging fruit that is Rust's menus, rearranging the familiar furniture and adding some much requested features. If you head over to the staging branch, you can see his progress now. Gone is the comfortingly dull plain background, which has now been replaced with a nice view of looking up at some trees, a view that you'll also be seeing a lot of in game which is nice. Instead of the familiar cluttered layout, your main menus are now ranged on the left, and all the links to social media tat and language settings are over on the right, although I can't see a link to the face punch forums now, and those wonderful random statistics such as number of chickens drowned and how many players have been headshot with the ochres are conspicuous by their absence. Although we still have some way to go and there may yet be other things added, so don't get in a flap about anything just yet. Over on the left, the main menus include news, which shows a summary of the latest patch with a link to the dev blog, inventory, which lets you see all your skins, plus the usual options for destroying them, item store, which opens the item store, where you can buy new skins to replace the ones you just accidentally destroyed, workshop, where you can browse all the amazing skins hoping to be accepted, Ooh. cast your oh-so-important votes on them, and even create your own options, where all the options are kept and which are laid out in a nice orderly fashion for you to fiddle with in the hope of squeezing that extra half a frame out of your King Edward. And and of course the most important button of all. Quit! No, of course I mean play game, where you can browse by all the usual server categories, but here is where you'll find some extra functionality. Can you add wipe date time to the browser? Would help so much. Yes. Yes, because wiping is so important and we all need to keep on top of it, you can now sort all the servers you find by exactly how lemon fresh they are. How exactly this new layer of knowledge will affect wipe schedules remains to be seen. Gary thinks it'll improve things greatly, but we'll have to wait and see. Another useful feature is not just being able to see which of your friends are playing Rust, but to see exactly who is playing on which server directly in the Friends tab. Although this decided to stop working when I wanted to film it, so just believe me on that one. You could see their names here. Of course, a big change like this wouldn't be complete without some sexy, sexy optimization, and Gary implemented a new virtual scroller for the server list which apparently saves something like 12,000 objects thanks to the way it handles the data. So performance memory in the menu will at least be good for you. We've got two more weeks until the next patch to main on June the 7th, so there's the potential for a lot more to be done here, and your Uncle Shadow Franks will of course keep you up to speed if you let him into your life and subscribe to the channel. In other changes on the staging branch, your vitals have been reordered, with health now sitting in between thirst and hunger, which if you think about it creates a sort of survival sandwich and symbolizes the importance of hydration and nutrition to your overall well-being. You can now pick up water barrels if you whip your hammer out, and water jugs come with less water in them as standard. Whether these are just random tweaks or indicative of a larger shift in the way we use water is yet to be seen though, so watch this space. The reset tick time on monument puzzles is slightly faster, but the puzzle reset time will now pause when players are in its radius, I presume to prevent puzzle camping. Flashlights in first person now cast an area light as well as a spotlight to simulate bounce, and the fog in the bandit town is half as saturated as before, a bit browner, less bright at twilight, and its render distance has been tweaked to 175. Just a few changes I'll mention from last week as well, because I missed them, obviously. Player movement will now automatically bump over small lumps and humps in the landscape, as well as curbs and steps, and so there should be less jumping involved for all. Water junk piles shouldn't despawn when players are nearby. Doorways will render as full walls in the reflection paths to prevent light bleeding, and view models and scopes should no longer lag behind when on vehicles. A new feature of Unity 2019.1 is being tested, which is incremental garbage collection. It's basically a more granular form of memory recycling which splits the process up over multiple frames and could help reduce the amount of stutters and frame drops that this sort of stuff can cause, and hopefully it helps smooth out the Rust experience. Although I don't have anything visual to show you yet, as well as a major overhaul to weapon textures and VFX, environment shaders are also now being targeted and we could see some good improvements in the next patch if these are ready by then. What I do have to show you are quite a few new pickies of the giant and excavator monument, which yeah, I'm pretty sure will be ready for the next patch now, and 
Are those mineable nodes? Or just decorative? I mean, you'd expect this place to be the one-stop shop for all your node needs. And long sleeve shirts and wooden armor, of course. I'm sure we won't have long to wait until we find out, though. And lastly, Helk is working on a vehicle branch. Now, this could, of course, be referring to horse riding, which he promised us and isn't trying to wriggle out of at all. <coughs> or it could be referring to some other type of vehicle entirely. Or just vehicles in general. Stay tuned. Okay, you're up to date. Only a few things left to do. You know what they are, I tell you every week. But yes, do like and subscribe and ring that notification bell that works 100% of the time in a parallel universe somewhere. Follow me everywhere else, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, or my Steam group, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. I was delayed.